My name is Dara Okeo, a daughter of Namlolwe, or as the world knows it, the Great Lake Victoria. It is these waves that I woke up to whenever I visited my grandmother and the shores of this lake that I ran to when I needed to calm my mind years later as I was working in Beta. I remember those early mornings as a child and those late evenings as an adult, but today, right now, Namlolo tells a different story. As vast, deep and nourishing as she is, her story is marred by pollution from our homes, our factories, our boats, and her beauty is veiled by an ever-growing ecological crisis. We have nitrates and phosphorus uh, going back to the lake. And when a lot is going back, we have nutrient proliferation or concentration in, in, uh, increasing in the lake. And that is what is causing, for example, the problems that we have seen. For example, uh, water hyacinth that uh, is uh, uh, you know, colonizing and proliferating when we have nutrient concentration in the lake. The solutions offered by Western nations have never fully resolved our problems. Now, let me introduce you to a game changer, 374 Water. The company has designed a device that may revolutionize waste processing, elimination and removal. Not only does it remove the waste, but it separates it into various components, making most portions of the waste usable and even profitable. Uh, at the moment, I'm doing a research where I'm assessing the efficiency of uh, wastewater treatment and the effluent that is going into the lake. And uh, in these parameters, I'm checking the efficiency of the system, uh, the biological and also the physiochemical parameters of this water that is being released into the, into the lake. I'm uh, doing sampling and characterizing of waste, where uh, I'm analyzing the suspended solids and also uh, the TDS and the microbiological part of the wastewater that uh, will be fed into the air score technology from the 374 waters. And uh, from uh, this point, uh, we are going to take this waste, where we are going to treat it uh, 374 degrees, where the waste is going to undergo a supercritical water state where it's going to oxidize all the organic and all the microbiological uh, uh, waste or uh, contamination. And uh, at the end of the day, we are going to get uh, waste that is, uh, it is clean and uh, that uh, can be used as fertilizer or manure. In Homa Bay County, in Kenya, we are piloting a site, which upon its success will serve as a blueprint for a truly sustainable local development which, at its core, is a wastewater treatment facility. But it is so much more than that, as the structures on the site will be built by local workers with local materials, making it an example of sustainable development on the continent. And as the project is not just about the wastewater, but about the promotion of a local circular economy, benefiting first and foremost the local community. Moreover, we plan to integrate an educational and research component to the development to further the use of various sustainable farming practices and to educate the local population in the application, giving them the tools they need to develop a self-sustaining infrastructure. We aim to identify all points of pollution and apply our lessons from this pilot site, eventually building similar sites across the county, surrounding countries and beyond. Our dream doesn't stop there. We envision these solutions being built right on the African continent and being led and operated by the local communities. This lake is used by the surrounding uh, population that it's around in the surrounding cities for drinking purposes. So uh, uh, this uh, technology and this partnership has come in the right time uh, so that uh, the locals, uh, the county government, the national government, the East African community partners and the Nile Basin countries will benefit. This is not just about us. This is about the health of our children and future generations. When it comes to Namlolwe, where our fishermen toil for hours to get a good catch, where we draw water to irrigate our farms, take a bath at noon or dip our feet, as the sun sets on the shores of Namlolwe, I'm inviting you on this remarkable journey, a vision for a future where Lake Victoria is clean and thriving. Together, we can demonstrate to the whole world a better way to live, a model of sustainability and progress that is African-led. This dream is achievable and together we can make it a reality. 
Thank you.